On this edition of Check 60 Aviation, we're talking upgrades for my RV-10. Alright, welcome back my friend, and this is going to be an exciting video for me because I actually get to talk about parts for the airplane instead of just showing a whole bunch of building videos for the workshop because they're starting to come in and because I've made a, a, a few decisions on what I'm not going to use of vans and what I'm going to actually use as upgrades because hey it's experimental aviation and I can actually do that I don't have to uh, sort you know to settle for whatever comes out of the factory like those in the certified aviation market that buy planes from say Cessna, Piper, um, and a few other manufacturers, uh, T uh, TBM. Now those are all great airplanes but I like building and I can actually build a plane for cheaper than I can at buy one. How much cheaper? Well when you consider that the most comparable airplane to the RV-10 is the Cirrus SR-22, which I believe the rock bottom retail price for that is about $300,000. I figure I'll get everything done, including paint, on the RV-10 for maybe $200,000 or $150,000 somewhere around that, that ballpark and that's with the upgrades that I've chosen. So let's get into this. So one of the first upgrades that I chose was the Behringer Aero setup. That's wheels, brakes, parking brake and for me both the anti-skid valve and also the air sense system. Now I'll go through all of that in detail here in a moment but of course the the wheels are the uh, the red aluminum uh, red anodized aluminum and while there's nothing wrong with the stock vans wheels they work great many airplanes have them uh, the red the Behringer system has sealed wheel bearings and which means a whole lot less maintenance especially at annual inspection uh, because you uh, with the stock ones you have to pack the wheel bearings you have to clean them off inspect them and repack them with grease and that's at least once a year um, and with the Behringer it's just a sealed system uh, here's a picture that I snagged off of another YouTube channel uh, per, uh, gentleman that I know from Wisconsin or I, I don't really know him I've met him I've you know, had interactions online with him but uh, he's also building an RV-10 build fly go his name is Gil, real nice guy in person. Go to uh, go check out his channel. Uh, and the Air Sense system is a little is something that lives inside the tire that will send tire pressure readings to my smartphone. Think of it as the tire pressure monitoring system on your car. It does the exact same thing, but this is. Um, it's a little bit more advanced, I think. I don't know. But if you know, leave a note, uh, leave a comment down below and let me know. Um, I've also decided to go with the both the parking brake and also the anti-skid valve on the braking system. Uh, the anti-skid valve is basically just a an ABS anti-brake anti-lock braking system that works on your car, but for my airplane. Um, I've well, now what I've also done is I'll talk about the, the brake lines here in a moment. Now let's talk a moment about my friend Steve over at Aircraft Specialty, also in Wisconsin. They they do fantastic work that end up saving a builder a lot of time. So I hear because I haven't really started on my plane yet because I'm still working on the workshop. Now I've went ahead and yeah. There, Steve is so fantastic that you can actually order Behringer parts from Aircraft Specialty, especially if you're going to do uh, the hoses and brakes and work with my other new friend, Paul, 
at Control Approach in Oregon. And I'll get to what uh, Control Approach does here in a little bit. Um, now, I did get a box. If you saw in if you saw my last video, uh, you meant I did mention that I was expecting a shipment from UPS that day as we were finishing up the roof and getting some insulation done. Actually, no, we had already finished up the roof and uh, we were uh, working on drywall and insulation. And in that box was some parts from Paul, uh, from Steve at Aircraft Specialty. I'll show you those here right now. All right, so like I said, I have this box here from Steve over at Aircraft Specialty and I've already opened it. But this is brake lines, and these are, I mean, the, the, and they're, they're all custom fit for the individual, uh, individual uh, part uh, in the process of building an airplane. Now these won't come into use until I'm actually working on the fuselage portion. Uh, right now I'm going to be working on the tail kit. But these are good to have nonetheless. Now, uh, the re it's good that, I'm, that I ordered these now because there was a price increase that occurred at uh, the beginning of 2022. And uh, I was able to lock in the original price from 2021 and before all of the inflation started hitting. Um, and now, the re one of the biggest reasons and if not the mo the largest reason to order from aircraft specialty as opposed to going along with the uh, whatever Vans aircraft gives you is these are already pre-cut. Uh, I'm told that Vans just gives you a roll of, of brake lines and you have to make them yourself uh, according to the plans that they give you and this is just such a time saver that um, it's it's going to be so much easier to do. Uh, now, I've also, in watching a few of uh, Gil's videos, uh, I've also been uh, called been called. My attention has also been called to the fact that these are already pre bent. Um, I'm not quite sure what that is about. I'd have to watch that again, but again, uh, I, I think that maybe you have to, when you're, if you uh, make your own from the stock Vans kit, that you have to kind of bend these and you know, get them the right angle. Uh, here, you don't have to do that. So again, another time saver. And they're all, they're all labeled here too. Uh, this is the first time. Okay, so this is, these are the under seat hoses. And these are firewall to center tunnel hoses. And this is, okay, so this goes, this connects to the instrument panel. And so yeah, and the nice thing about this is that if you have any questions about how to install these, you can give Steve a call over at Aircraft Specialty and there's his, his email address and uh, some instructions. But uh, everyone that I've talked to absolutely raves about the about uh, you know his work, and I, I can see why. It's quality work. It's you know, steel you know, uh, braided hose, um, just like you would get with Vans. But a lot of all of the work is done for you, as far as you, you know, there's no cutting or anything like that. All right, so that brings me to my other new friend, Paul at Control Approach. What Control Approach does is they make custom rudder pedals for for experimental aircraft. Uh, specifically, I'm not sure if it's any other aircraft, but I know that he does specialize with the, Van, the, the Vans aircraft line of airplanes. 
um, specifically the RV10 uh, in my case. And I've told that a lot of uh, championship winning aircraft have his rudder pedals uh, installed in their aircraft. So that's, that's a good thing. Um, and the reason why I went with them is because here's a picture of the stock rudder pedals for vans that, that come, that ship with the vans aircraft. Um, there's nothing wrong with them. Again, there's, um, you know, a lot of the airplanes that are flying have them. They work perfectly. They're, they're safe, obviously, but to me, they just didn't look very clean as you can see from the picture that you're seeing now from control approach um, so I, I some somehow I just envisioned my feet getting caught up in those stirrups uh, on the rudder pedals especially when uh, it comes to braking you know toe braking and it's just not something I really wanted to do so that was a one of the other reason why I went with control approach. Now, the one of the other upgrades that I'm going to be considering, I'm not, I haven't decided yet if I really want to go this way, is the C Bailey windows. Um, C Bailey windows is uh, out of Los Angeles area. Uh, I don't recall the exact city in the LA area, but uh, uh, I I can get there and check them out. Um, is uh, they they make windows that can be different colors other than just clear uh, and plus I've been told that they fit a lot easier in the build process the first time you put them in uh, as opposed to having to trim a lot of the window material away from your build project so uh, that's it for this video Give us a like and subscribe and please, by all means, hit that notification bell so you can follow along with the build process, not just from the, uh, the workshop side of things, but also we're getting close to getting this workshop done and actually starting to build an airplane. So I appreciate you. This has been a short video. Follow along and oh, by the way, to get the current updates on where we are in the build process head on over to Instagram and follow us there too um, oftentimes I'll post things on Instagram before I get a video out now I am going to be leaving out to go out on the road tomorrow to you know, haul some loads because I am a professional driver uh, so it's going to, it might be a little while so this might be the last video you see for well, about maybe a month or so uh, by the, the I, I will be home before a month comes up, but I may not have time to actually build outside. So I appreciate you. Until next time, peace, stay well, and always check your six.